everybody, my name is Roseanne. I'm sure you remember me from uh, my last episode a few months back where we shared my journey in the Black Soldier Fly Enterprise. I'm back again and this time round it's to respond to the tremendous inquiries that have been coming in on how to do this thing, how to go about uh, setting up a farm, inquiries on camp set up for me from uh, West Africa, from uh, Central America, pretty much all over. Welcome, I am here to share with you a couple of pointers and tips in a series of episodes that is going to help you get on with the setting up of the farm. Welcome to my classroom. This is where the class officially begins. Black soldier fly. Did you know that it's also called Hamatia illusens? For purposes of this series, we will be referring to the fly as Hamatia, so that we can also be able to distinguish it from the ordinary regular flies. Why is it necessary to distinguish it? Because the Hamatia is actually a very unique fly. It is naturally occurring in nature, and its main purpose has been to decompose organic waste. Any and every form of waste can and is decomposed by the black soldier fly very rapidly and with very high efficiency. The nature of the Hamatia is that it will come to any place that has organic waste. It is that nature that we take and use as we are doing the farming. And so any and every form of organic substrate is what we will use to feed the black soldier fly on. The black soldier fly is different from other flies in the sense that it is actually a very clean fly. As opposed to bringing in uh, vectors of diseases, it actually neutralizes those microbes and makes the waste very, very clean. Consequently, the nature of the black soldier fly is that it cleanses whatever it is on. It is also a long uh, growing fly, it takes about 35 days and during this time it takes on the waste and converts it into its own weight and uh, protein. The black soldier fly is very, very useful for feed for monogastric animals, essentially animals that have got one stomach. That is your pigs, your fish, your chicken, and also to some extent when processed for pets in the households. As the saying goes, the early bird catches the worm. It goes to show that birds really, really love worms. We have experienced it in our unit. They would come and would really, really eat on all the worms in the various trays. And the question therefore usually is, is this safe to, to feed the worms to the animals that are then going to be consumed domestically? The answer is yes. The International Center for Insect Research here in Nairobi, ISIPE, has done extensive research on the value of the black soldier fly as feed for animals and the results are amazing. Uh, the work is essentially important in working to create an alternative uh, stream for protein so that you can reduce the competition of protein for animals as well as for human consumption. So in terms of safety, Animals that have been fed with the black soldier fly are just as good as animals that have had the regular, other regular sources of protein. And this has really been proven the world over. It is the practice in Australia, in Eurasia, in uh, Europe, as well as here in Africa. Now that brings us to the end of the first episode. First days of school is not usually very heavy, but I'd invite you to come to the next one, where we're going to look more and more into how to attract the black soldier fly from the environment. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Cheers.